I just read that you gave up your green card. What was that? Maintaining two homes, one in Sydney, one in New York, and flying between them was spewing tons and tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. This is the prime cause of global warming. So I gave up my green card and I've massively reduced the amount I fly, but that kickstarted this whole other lifestyle change. I'm very keen to work towards a future that I can be proud of and that our daughter can be proud of. Yeah, good for you. Now, I want to lighten my carbon footprint. What do you think I should be doing? Now, there's people doing amazing things out there. I don't want to dictate like some kind of dictator and tell you your top nine rules for <laughs> how to get sustainable. So I say to you, go out on the road, find what speaks to you, and then just start. I've got to go on tour in a sec, so I think I'm going to have to get my mate Slats on the job. I'll get him on the blah, we'll have a chat about it, and away he goes. Yeah! Oh, who's that? Must be. Oh, bloody hell, it's Nat's what I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, mate. How you G'day, doing? Slats. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. What do I have the pleasure? Hey, listen, mate, are you up for a bit of a mission? Well, I didn't put on my cowboy hat this morning no, for nothing. No, I can see that. <laughs> you scream mission ready. Uh, so I just spoke to my mate Yael and she's uh, given up her green card to lighten her right. footprint. And I thought maybe you could go on a bit of a mission, see if you could discover more ways to do that. Mate, I'm up for it. Alright, rip a beauty. See you around. Tamara, where are we? We are in Broken Hill. Yeah, right. This is it. This is it. Why are we in Broken Hill? We are in Broken Hill because we're visiting Dr. Anika Molesworth. She is at the forefront of the Farmers for Climate Action movement. Yep, yep. So she's really involved in helping people understand the impact of climate change on the land where our food comes from. Oh, now we're talking. There is a uh, famous directional based song on the... Go West? Yes. Stop it. Life Stop it. Peaceful Ooh. Ooh. Go well. That's weird. The greatest climate change show in the world. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Have you tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> Would you like a job in IT? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Why am I interviewing you? <laughs> so my name is Anika Molesworth and I'm a farmer, a scientist, and we're talking today about climate change. And where are we? What are we doing here? And also, why is it so hot? <laughs> Lats, you're in God's country here, far western New South Wales, um, this starkly beautiful part of the country of ruby red sands and sapphire blue skies, and this is where my family and I farm. <laughs> With most of us living in the cities, what would you like us to know about the land? So. Farmers live and work very closely with the natural world and I think more of us need to appreciate our dependence on nature and our responsibility to look after it. How are farmers being impacted by climate change? So climate change impacts agriculture in a whole variety of ways. It impacts what we can grow, where we can grow it, what type of food we can actually produce. So changes in rainfall, in temperature, in the intensity and frequency of droughts, of floods, of bushfires, all impacts the food production. So I can imagine when you're down at the pub, you're enjoying a good beer and a good meal. Have a look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that beer and that food came from plants and animals from a farm. And so climate change impacts what food you're going to have in the pub, how much it's going to cost, and also the nutrient value of that food. Nat and I live in apartments in the city What's the one thing you think we could do to start making positive change? So the greatest driver of climate change is the release of greenhouse gases coming from the burning of fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas. And so we can prevent the release of those greenhouse gases by choosing our businesses, such as our banks, our superannuation companies, our energy companies, our telcos that have good you know, ethical and environmental values. 
ones that are doing right by the future. We can also be looking at ways of offsetting our carbon when we travel, for instance. So there's lots of improvements we can make in our homes and in our lifestyles to make sure that we're reducing our carbon footprint. We're all in this together. And so everyone needs to come together to share ideas, to work out how we're going to tackle the greatest challenge that humanity has ever faced. And I know we can make a positive difference and we can do that and get there quickly by working together. <laughs> so, how you been, mate? What have you been up to? I just met with uh, Dr. Annika Molesworth. Mm -hmm. She lives up in Broken Hill. Yeah. She reckons that farmers get it and they know that the future is renewable energy. What's the take home for us? Switch to ethical banks and super. She reckons some invest in fossil fuels influence with your money. Got it. Switch bank, switch super, switch it up. Support renewables. Ripper. Way up shit creek. Well, yeah, if it doesn't rain.